it's time for roller games. Are you ready? Hi, I'm Bowen. We're here at Pop World Headquarters, and this is Roller Games, brought to you by the World Alliance of Roller Sports. This uh, juggernaut has been on the air for 28 seasons, starting in 1990. Everybody knows the wall of death, the sudden death, the jump, the pit, all of the things that make Roller Games the number one TV show of all time. And we're here to take you through it, along with the original sponsors of the very first season of Roller Games, including Orange, Mandarin Orange Slice, Game Pro, Share Data, Pepsi, and Mug Root Beer. Uh, I have to give a shout out to the Patreon backers. Uh, they are the ones who have brought me here to Pittsburgh to film these machines. None of them know that I'm filming Roller Games because none of them would ever have picked this, but uh, I think it's one of uh, Steve Ritchie's great designs uh, just uh, ran up against a, uh, a juggernaut of a show, the show that is Roller Games. Welcome to Roller Games. Let's put the ball up around that ramp. And the first shot, you can shoot for the jet wave for a team. And then around for uh, the combo there is very nice. Could be devastating. The main objective of the game is to start the three ball multi-ball. By completing the green drops, you will light locks. You can light more than one lock together. Oh. So one tactic if you're playing opponents is to light the locks and then claim them only together at once because you don't want to feed your opponents your locks. But with two locks in play, and if I'm just playing by myself, it doesn't really matter who gets locks when or what, because uh, it's just me as far as I can tell. And, oh, flip! Flip! Yeah, flip! I, um, I guess if you don't flip, they yell at you. Let's try not flipping. Let's try flipping next time and see what it does. One ball locked, one lock lit. And shooting it in the pit is usually a good way of getting the, the ball nice and fed over for a second lock. It's not that much harder than the magnet shot. And with two locks, locking the third ball means a guaranteed multi-ball. It's a nice touch there. You did a good job with the music on this game. Getting you ready for multi balls. Like, multi balls ready. Damn! Just, you just kind of know. Hey, something's up. Oh, crap. Multi ball. And this would be a bad time to drain for those who are playing multiplayer games. You go, know, like, ah, if I drain now, someone else will steal my multi ball. Uh, let's go in there and let's start it. Yeah! Time to kick butt. The jackpot is lit. The jackpot is lit on the, the ramp. More good music. This music by uh, Dan Forden, who is probably best known for his work on the sound and music for Mortal Kombat. Uh, his is the, the voice of Toasty when, uh, when that happens. So that voice appears uh, every so often. Oh, right, we don't have a center post in this game. Oh, maniacs! Yeah! Bow! Bow! <laughs> yeah, Jenna Jackpot! That is unbelievable! So, unlike the, well, it's, unlike other games with jackpots, you can continue to collect the jackpot, and unlike other games with jackpots, you get this music. Kick, 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 what? Atomic Whip Kickback. Send you right around. Best multi ball jackpot music ever? If it's not, I dare you to, sh to show me better. 
two, one. And for the most part, you that's it. That's it's not a very complicated game. Uh, now the other other things that you would normally do in this game, you can get all six of the teams from uh, those loops, and that would light an extra ball. Uh, in competitive play, there are no extra balls, so it doesn't really give you anything to do that. But we're also going to see, hopefully, uh, Sudden Death, which just happens. Um, I don't have really any control over when Sudden Death occurs, but when Sudden Death occurs, you'll know. Doodle doo doo. Big butt. Doo 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 doo. Doo 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 doo. Kick, 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 for what? Sorry, it's just uh, too catchy. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Now the song is over. Hmm. Get one final kick butt at the end of your ball after it drains, and then the El Rando sound effect countdown. Uh, that's how you score. Uh, there are plenty of other ways to score points in the game, but uh, most of them involve uh, getting the... Uh, a lot of the other ways of scoring involve getting the sudden death, which can occur at any time, and hopefully it will, because I really can't leave here without showing you sudden death. It would be nonsensical to run you through a game of, uh, ah, nonsensical to run you through a game of roller games without showing you sudden death. But I don't have any control over when it happens. As far as I know, I mean, maybe there is some way that uh, other people know to induce sudden death, but uh, I do not know what it is, and uh, I would really like to know. There we go, relit the kickback. It only took me two balls to do that. Shooting ABC to relight the kickback. And uh, you can put it in this pit from either flipper. It's a quick backhand from the left. And let's see what happens when I do flip early here. Don't flip. Oh, it fell right off. Jerks. Yes, sudden death. All right, during sudden death, feed the pit or shoot the side ramp. And any shot to the side ramp is a million. But if you feed the pits, it's gonna be easy, right? Flip, one million and a lock. Maybe and this will plunge me another million uh, during the sudden death. The countdown continues. Boom. And if you continue to feed the pits, the magnet stays on. Another million. How about another million? You can also complete skate plus war for two million, which is absolutely absurd. No one will ever do that, and no one should ever try to do that. If it does happen to you, let me know, because I've never seen anyone do it and I would congratulate you for your amazing achievement. This is a huge number of points. And the timer resets every time you get it. So just because you have uh, done it and you look and you're like, oh, there's only two seconds left. Too bad, now it time's up. I think there's even a reward for uh, completing enough ramps during sudden death to, uh, to basically win. Uh, but I don't know how many ramps that has. All right, I'm gonna disobey you this time. Well, it just seemed to be fine. Everything was fine. I flipped early, nobody cared. I don't really understand what the fuss is about here. Right, you can also hit down the multi-ball targets from the upper flipper by sweeping it um, and it's kind of a shot that uh, players don't really think of very much, but it's it's pretty safe, I guess. You are sacrificing your ramp your ramp points by playing it that way. It's not a bad way of dealing with it, but I would rather just light my locks the old-fashioned way. All locks lit. That's cool over there. Uh, this game, like, fires your your locked balls every so often. 
Atomic Whip style. Uh oh. Yeah. Good nudge there. That's something to learn about. If you are in the process of nudging and you're kind of intermediate at it, when you get to a situation where you're like, oh, the ball's in trouble, just slam the machine. I slammed it kind of up, a little bit up and to the right, but there wasn't really a lot of rhyme or reason to it. The goal was to get it all the way out, and there's just a metal post there between the inline and outline. You don't have very much control except for that post. So you gotta you gotta make good with what, what it gives you. There go the two balls on the lock. Multi-ball is ready. Oh, I love making that shot, but it, I haven't been able to make that side that side flipper shot. As a combo, the card maneuver has escaped me. Metal post save, boom. Come on, man. Two warnings. Let's get there. It's ball three, right? Oh, I've been ball searched. Oh, the worst. Okay, fine. I'll take it this way. Woot! Jackpot is ready. And just paying attention to where the other balls are. This is not bad at all. Getting uh, one ball uh, drained, one on the right flipper, one on the left. You can just play with the right flipper ball here. Try to put it in the pit. You can even do that while keeping this ball. Boom! Yeah! <laughs> Thanks, Game Pro. Thanks, Thermos. Right, let's get some jackpots. Oh, way, way late on that one. Dun, dun. Yeah! Hey, just unbelievable! Oh, too early that time. I need this combo. Oh, too late that time. Yes! And um, back when I used to play this game when it first came out, which was kind of before I had a clue about trapping up, just flying balls around. My goal was to try to get both balls into the jackpot at the same time. Now, of course, my goal is to get one ball out of the way. Oh dear, did I just do that? Well, that worked out perfectly. Uh, yes, I meant to do that. And then make jacks with the other flipper. God, I'm trying desperately to make that as a Picard maneuver jackpot. <laughs> Instead, it's over. Kick, 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 what? Now there's some players who in uh, competition play will stay away from the locks altogether on this game and I don't really buy that as a strategy. It's just too valuable. But what you can do, like I said, is play for, play to protect your locks. So don't lock any balls until you've completed the, the war targets three times. Unfortunately, making a lock also stops kick butt, which really sucks, man. I mean, come on. How can you kick butt and then not kick butt? It just doesn't make any sense. I don't get it. I kicked butt, now I don't kick butt. Nah, it's unfortunate. But so it is in the world of roller games. Oh, and a bad play there on the right flipper. So there with my left flipper, I'm trying to tip the ball over just enough to grab it on the right. Uh, rather than flip away, big bonus here, I guess. Um, but then I did uh, I did not catch the ball successfully on the right flipper. Um, big thanks here to uh, all the backers from Patreon who have uh, made it possible to produce these videos. Uh, this one's in honor of Warren Day. Uh, and big thanks to him as well as all the backers for uh, making this possible. Hopefully uh, you enjoyed this butt kicking. Thanks for watching.